Donna, Technology and Media Librarian for Upper Arlington Public Library. I'm here with the second in our Libby video series, so I can show you how to browse the Libby collection. Um, there are thousands of ebooks and digital audiobooks on Libby, and it can be difficult to find exactly the right one. Uh, you may prefer to read only ebooks, or you prefer audiobooks. You may prefer a certain topic or even a genre. You may also want to find a book that you can check out instantly. On Libby, there are so many different ways you can find the books that are right for you. And in this video, I'll walk you through the steps of refining your search results and setting your preferences. So make sure you have your device with the Libby app installed so you can follow along and we'll get started. First thing I'll show you is how you can do a direct search on Libby. Anywhere you see this magnifying glass on Libby, at the top of your screen, you can click or tap to activate the search bar. And here's where you can type in the title of a book, an author's name, or a keyword or phrase that would appear somewhere in your book's description or title or author's name so that you'd be able to find some results based on what you've entered. Just to illustrate, if we're looking for a particular author, um, if you like, say, Sophie Kinsella, we can type in her name. And you'll see that we get a list of results. And on the right side, it'll tell us whether Sophie Kinsella is present in the author's name or if it's present in the title. We know we're looking for our author, so we'll go ahead and select this first option. And this will show us everything matching Sophie Kinsella as the author. And we get a mix of books and audiobooks, different subjects. But we can scroll through and see all of the books that appear in the Libby collection by this author and choose one to borrow or to place on hold. So that would be searching for an author. If you wanted to search for a particular title, again, we can click up here wherever we see our magnifying glass to get that search bar again. I'm gonna close out the current search and I'm gonna type in the name of a book that I'm looking for. So for example, if you were looking for Little Fires Everywhere, hugely popular book, bestseller, and now Hulu series, so you know it's really popular. If you're looking for this book, when you get your results, you'll see that all of the results are titles. So we'll go ahead and click on this first one. And then these are all of the books where Little Fires Everywhere, Everywhere matches the title. So you can see right away we've got two copies. One is an ebook, one is an audio, and then here's the first book by the same author. So we could place a hold on either of these books. The other thing you can do with the search is click and enter a keyword that would help you find a topic that's similar to what you've entered. So for example, if I were looking for books on how to use Photoshop, I could type in Photoshop and rather than select one of the titles from this list, if you're not sure of whether one is the right one for you, we can just type in our keyword and hit enter um, on my keyboard, or you tap that on the keyboard on your screen. And we get all of the books that match Photoshop, and we can kind of browse through these. So you can see what is currently available. You can click on each book title to get details in a description to find out whether it's the right Photoshop guide for you. So that's how you can use the search. Um, what we can also do when we get a search result, whether we type in a keyword, an author's name, or a title is we can use refine. And that's what I'm gonna show you in the next segment of the video is how you can refine results after you've done a search or after you've browsed a particular topic so that you can find something that's absolutely perfect for you. Here I am back on the Libby home screen. This is the Digital Downloads Collaboration home screen where you can start browsing for books, search for a specific book, or you can go through these different curated collections to try to find something that might match your interest based on the topics. Um, there's always a couple different ways on Libby that you can find books that are relevant to your interests. Um, one is to set your preferences beforehand, and one is to narrow your results after you do an initial search. And I'm gonna show you both ways to do that in this video. The first is if we wanted to explore based on topic, we can narrow down the results that we find when we've done that. So in the first video, I showed you that you could use this explore button to find books based on certain guides or based on certain subjects. Um, so we could click here on subjects and find books that are on a particular topic. So let's say we like historical fiction, we can sort through those. 
Um, we can scroll down even a bit further and see what else is available. But when you use Explore, you get all of the books in this particular subject, and then you can kind of filter out the results that way. So we'll click here on historical fiction, and you can see it's about 10,000 ebooks and more than 2,000 audiobooks. That's a lot. But once you do hit a subject, you can then refine your results. Um, what you can do is click on this More button and see all of the other subjects that are applied to those books. So it would be both historical fiction and, for example, westerns or historical fiction that are also short stories. So you could combine subjects by clicking on one of these once you've clicked more. You can also click here on refine to change some of the formatting options for the books in your results. So if you're looking for historical fiction but you only want ebooks, you can click on format and click books and that takes out the audiobook results. You can go back and change your language preferences so that you only find books in a certain language, and then you can select that from these lists. Um, you can change your audience, so it would go from juvenile all the way up to mature adult content. You can select your audience from the refined filter, um, and you can even set it to be what's currently available. And I always try to show this one because very often when we're browsing, we've got something we can check out right now, right? We don't want to wait for it. We want it ASAP. So if that's the case, you can click on availability. And from these 10,000 plus historical fiction ebooks, we can say we only want to see the ones that are available right now. So that's how we can refine results. Once you've done that, you can just scroll through and click on whichever ones that you'd like to borrow. Um, and again, you can go back and change this to a particular format. So it'll help kind of go from several thousand to maybe just a much more manageable um, search result list. The other way that we can change our results um, would be going back to our home screen. So I'm going to go back, always hit on the top left corner of your screen on Libby to go back to your previous page. We can click explore here. Um, another way that you can see what's currently available without having to do the refined results is to click on the what's available section here in explore. Um, you can see all available titles or you can select it by format. So let's say you're looking for an ebook that's available for instant checkout. We click here on available books. And this will give you quite a few. There's about 75,000 that are listed here. But this screen will probably look very familiar because it's um, now we're just refining it based on availability. And then we can select a subject here. So this is all ebooks that are currently available to check out here in Libby. Um, and at this point, you might want to set a couple of, you know, those subject results. So you can scroll through here and pick um, a much more narrow subject, you know, art or nonfiction humor, and you can see what's available. We can get another refinement list here. So you can click on refine and you can change your language. You can change your audience settings, um, compatibility with the device that you're planning to use. So you can click on all of these and that'll help you kind of browse through all of the collections that are listed here. And then the final trick I'm going to show you is if we go back again to our home screen, we're going to go all the way back up to our library. And then this preferences button will let you set your availability and your format before you even start searching. So if we click here on preferences, this is a great tool to use if you know ahead of time that you only ever want to read available ebooks. That's all you want to see on Libby. Or you only ever want to see available audiobooks. That's all you want to see on Libby. Um, that way you never have to worry about seeing those place hold books. You can click here on availability preferences and say that you only want to see what's available now. Otherwise everything will give you those place hold books. Um, here under format you can click any and you can switch it to books or audiobooks. So if you only ever want to see what's available on audio and Libby you will never see anything that asks you to place a hold. Um, what you do is click Apply Preferences. And now you can see our homepage looks a little bit different because we've immediately filtered out all of the eBooks. These are just audiobooks for us to check out, and these are just audiobooks that we can check out right now. Um, I would recommend this if you are only wanting to browse for something, because if you are trying to look for a particular book or a particular title and author, and they don't meet these preferences criteria, um, you're never going to see those books. So it can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you want to switch back and forth between setting preferences or browsing and refining your results. 
Um, but if you know that you only ever want something that's currently available or it's in a particular format, then go ahead and set that preference and then you don't have to worry about placing holds or you know distinguishing between something that's available or not available or an ebook or an audiobook because it will only show you what you want to see. Um, so that's setting preferences and browsing and applying refinement filters. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can send books from Libby to Kindle if you have a Kindle device that you'd like to use.